What's going on, Jeromes? So the Minnesota Defiant Vikings are the kings of the dinnertime news dump. And uh, wh why am I so sweaty? I was watching cops. Just trying to manifest uh, Caleb Williams' trade-up for the Vikings. But uh, the Vikings' run game this year hasn't been great. Now, part of it has been great game script. Part of it has been offensive line play. Part of it has been play calling. Part of it has been that Alexander Madison and Ty Chandler simply are not getting it done at this moment in time. The Vikings are dead last in the NFL uh, in running the ball. And... Just ha hasn't looked great so far. But uh, the Vikings are rededicated to try and fix the running game. They signed Dalton Reisner along the offensive line. And also, surprise, the Vikings traded for Rams running back Cam Akers. Adam Schefter, go. Trade, Rams are sending running back Cam Akers to the Minnesota Vikings for a swap of 2026 draft picks for swords. Remember, this is 2023. The next year's draft is 2024. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. 2026, three years down the line, and they're probably swapping like a sixth and seventh rounder, which is... Kind of hilarious, man. But uh, Cam Akers, for whatever reason, has been on the hot seat. Uh, he's been on the trade block for basically the last year and a half. Uh, was a healthy scratch last week uh, by Sean McVay in the loss to the Niners. So now the Vikings pick up a super talented running back uh, who's still relatively young at a absolutely bargain basement rate. Uh, he's still on his rookie deal, so it doesn't really affect the cap much. And it, it's, it's exactly what... Quasi Adolfo Mensa loves to do, whether it's Ross Blacklock, whether it's uh, Hawkinson, whether it's uh, Jalen Rager, whether, whether it's Reisner, whether it's whoever. You take a player that has a high draft pedigree and the whole mama, I can change him thing. And Akers, for whatever reason, certainly didn't work out with the Rams, but I think he has a chance to hit the ground running, pun intended, with the Vikings. Let's talk about the new Vikings running back today. Background, 24 years young. Yeah, he's only 24. Like, if you play fantasy, it feels like Cam Akers has been in the league for like 10 years, man. It's crazy. But uh, 5'10", 217, former five-star recruit from Clinton, Mississippi, uh, took his talents to Florida State which is ironic because he was the one-for-one -one replacement uh, for Dalvin Cook. Dalvin uh, declared for the 20, 2017 draft, drafted by the Vikings in the second round. Uh, Cam Akers, as a true freshman, came in, ran for 1,000 yards, uh, and took over. Uh, in Tallahassee, he racked up 2,875 yards rushing, 34 turtle, uh, total touchdowns, and then also he ended up being a second-round pick, uh, just like Dalvin, uh, but this time uh, going to the Rams. Uh, and he was selected in the, in the second round 2020 uh, by L.A. I had two years of crossover with Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips. So that's right, baby. Uh, scheme, uh, scheme uh, knowledgeable as well as, you know, the Rams run a lot of outside zone. Vikings run a lot of outside zone. <laughs> Frankly, I think Cam Akers comes in and he might be the leading rusher for the Vikings in, in terms of yards and carries on, on Sunday. But uh, over four seasons uh, with L.A., yeah, but really 3.1, 3.2, something like that. I ran for 1,443 yards total, 10 touchdowns, also caught 27 balls for 250, and a touchdown on 35 targets. I missed the bulk of their 2021 Super Bowl run season uh, with a torn Achilles, uh, but he bounced back from that nicely last year, uh, running for 786 and 7 touchdowns. And again, he's still shockingly young. Uh, and he's still on his rookie deal, uh, so it's a good spot for the Vikings. Uh, and his uh, draft draft profile from LanceOrlineNFL.com still holds up. Uh, draft projection round two, Duke Johnson. That's just the U being the U. Uh, overview. Despite a disappointing win-loss record and lack of ooh, running back wins and lack of blocking up front, Akers maintain a consistent level of play that represents his football character. He runs with tempo and flow but alters his rush a rush track at a moment's notice when needed he is elusive but lacking the instant burst of a slasher capable of stacking long runs in a single game uh, acres has above average open field vision once he's into the second level and looks to run through the tacklers pads as a finisher he's a three down option with a good feet uh, for finding the crease near the goal line but ball security uh, needs to improve Mm. Uh, he can be leg one or two of a tandem rushing attack and is one of the more natural runners uh, in the draft. Uh, and that, that uh, assessment has actually panned out uh, in the NFL with the Rams. But, uh, for, again, for whatever reason, it just seems like he's always been in – and Sean McVay's doghouse. Now, you know, we, we don't know the dynamics uh, behind all that, but you know who would? Kevin O'Connell, Wes Phillips, who was in that building with Cam Akers for two seasons. So they know the type of guy that they're getting and what he can do for this football team. And the running back room right now, so Madison is still running back one, uh, and, and you know, he did sign the two-year extension in the offseason. Uh, but Akers, you know, Akers you know, maybe doesn't have that home run threat ability like Ty Chandler, but he's great in the outside zone. He's got great vision uh, to be able to bounce, cut, and, and uh, break break loose. I think that he is going to be a solid uh, grinder on the ground. Yeah, again, uh, he's a solid three-down option as well. And I think 
I, I think that he's really going to deeply cut into Alexander Madison's work. I think Ty Chandler will sort of be an afterthought at this point. I think Miles Gaskin is probably uh, going to be the roster spot that gets freed up to bring Akers aboard. Maybe Gaskin gets back on the practice squad. Uh, McBride's on the practice squad. King Kenne is still on IR. They're, it sounds like they're hopeful that he's going to be back week five uh, for the Chiefs game. But I, I think, frankly, this is a great gamble by Quasi. You have a high second-round pick, a guy who has a lot of talent for whatever reason, uh, wasn't getting run with the Rams. Uh, he's knowledgeable from uh, – th- this coaching staff is very knowledgeable about Cam Akers, and you get him for next to nothing, They're both uh, in trade capital as well as uh, in cap space. So I, I think this is a fantastic spot. And props for Quasi, uh, Kevin O'Connell, for making this deal. And, hey, Cam Akers, hey – can we, can we bust out have like a freakish like 150 and two game against the Chargers? Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings trade for Los Angeles Rams running back Cam Akers. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.